Hi everyone, Farmer Luke here. I thought I'd just give you a little tour of my uh, tractor. Uh, my tractor is a John Deere 6190R. So I thought I'd just give run through very quickly what all these controllers does. It looks a lot and very complicated, but actually it's not. So we'll start on the floor. We have the uh, clutch pedal, the same as what's in a car. We have brakes one for the left tyre and the right tyre. That helps us turn around quicker when we get to the end of the field. We have a foot throttle. Over here we have indicators, window wipers, we have lights. And this lever here puts the tractor into forward or reverse. We have a few dials here. Now we've got the fuel dial, then we've got how many revolutions the engine's doing and the speedo. And that one over there is the temperature of the tractor. So, moving along here, we'll start with the gears. Uh, my tractor is a geared model, so I have five gears, and in each one of them five gears, there's four more gears, which I can alter by pressing the up or down button. Because certain operations that we do on the farm, we need to go certain speeds. So that's why the tractor's got so many gears. We also have a hand throttle. That is because certain implements we have on the back run off the engine, so we need to keep the engine running at the correct speed to make the implement work, i.e. like a power hour or the bed tillers you saw, we need to keep the tractor going at 2000 revs to make it work correctly. Uh, moving a bit further over here, we have PTO, which works, as I said, power harrows, bed tillers, potato harvesters, anything that needs power to drive cogs or belts or implements. Push that down a turn, turn it on, and it tells us on the dash that it's on. Over here we have the lift, which raises and lowers whatever implement or machine we have on the back, so i.e plow, power harrow, whatever. As you can see, if I pull it up, it pulls up. If I pull it down, it goes down. Also, we have a sliding scale because certain implements need to be kept at certain depths. So you set the control up to where you want it and the tractor will hold it for that depth. Uh, we just have quick buttons here to lift the implement up and lower it so at the end of the field when it's set we can have quick up and down this button over here is just to change the gears instead of the controller it's just easier next to where your thumb's working uh, here are what we call the spool valves so these uh, lets us tip tip a trailer for instance or turn a plow over in this case we have markers on the power arrow which I'm doing so when I pull back the spool valve or push it forward it goes down we have three of them on this tractor now over here this looks pretty complicated but all these dials correlate to the screen so this is the home screen it's got all the relevant information that I need uh, how far the lift is the time, very important, how much fuel I'm using. And if we turn to the next screen, this is the impressive bit. This is the satellite navigation. Well, this is a, uh, it keeps us straight in the field. So I put an A and B mark in. So I start at the start of the field and put an A mark in. Drive down to the end of the field and put a B mark in. And that will draw a straight line. So we get a perfect width of whatever implement we're using at the time. So that is basically the controls for the tractor. Over here we have the more comfort, aircon, and a radio to keep us entertained when we're going up and down the field. So that is a basic tour of a tractor cab. And I'll just finish off demonstrating the sat nav. So when we put it in gear, and go forward, press this little button here, sat now then turns the tractor wheel see I'm not touching the steering wheel straightens up 
and it'll keep you straight going down the field. Thanks so much for watching, I hope that was entertaining and informative. Uh, look out for more videos. Thank you.